Hi, it's Deirdre, and I had wanted to do a Facebook Live with you all, but somehow the the internet gods and goddesses had a different plan. So I thought what I'll do is I'll take this live and then we'll post it for you. Because this past weekend, I guess it was Friday, we had Frank Corrigan here from uh, Glasgow, Scotland, who is a neuroscientist and doing this incredible work about uh, processing brain material without people getting dissociated and disorganized. And then I brought him into the trauma attachment and yoga training to do small group work, which was really phenomenal. People loved it. So here's what we looked at a lot and what I want to keep exploring with you and in my own life is how do we narrow down information so that it's easy to process. The smaller the amount of information that we have in our system, the more easily it is to rise, crest, and fall. And that's really what we're trying to do, is make sure that we can keep things succinct and small so they pass through. Now one of the dilemmas is, let's say that we have a ton of things going on in our life, you know, and they're just all over the place. Let's you know, all these could be lots of many different thoughts, feelings, and body sensations. They're just happening rapid fire. The task that we all have, especially when there's a lot going on, especially when we're feeling really hyper-aroused and overwhelmed, is how do we narrow in on one thing and let the rest fade into the background? It's when we narrow this down that we can actually... Um, deal with it. If I'm looking at all this, the polka dots everywhere, it's like, ah, it's too much. But if I just look at this and expand this out, so it would be like, it would be going here. So then that one thing is here and everything else is separate. There might be in the periphery, we might notice something. But mostly we're aware of here. By bringing my attention here, I have a greater chance of processing this. If I'm trying to process all this at once, it's too much. I can't move it through the whole system. It's too much. They're all trying to rise, crest, and fall at the same time, right? They're all moving quickly. So I need to get one thing out of there and focus on it. And the way we do that, literally, is concentrating on this one thing. We call it narrowing the field of our concentration so that I can just see this and then that becomes here. The more I focus on this, the less aware I am of everything else going on in the background. So when I am focused here, then I have to make sure that this is a small amount of information, not a huge amount, just um, like if I have so many, if this is built into lots of different thoughts, I have a ton of thoughts, a ton of feelings going on, and lots of little sensations in here, you see how that also gets cluttered. So there again, narrowing it, making it even smaller, going even closer. How can I get to just this thought, you know, and really like cross out all these other so that I just have one thing, or one sensation. That's all I'm looking for. And how do I be with that? And it means, really, that I need to drop out of my head, trying to figure out. And what Frank Corgan was teaching us is about the part of the brainstem that can actually observe and notice without getting entangled in everything. So you could practice this on your own. Is take a bunch of information, make it smaller and smaller and smaller. We do this in the Becoming Safely Embodied Skills course. How do we break things apart into small bits? And when you break it apart, how do you focus on just one thing? And then, how do you either sit inside yourself or externalize it some way, just like I'm doing here. You could write this one thought, this one feeling, either draw it out or write it out or depict it in some way or just imagine it on a pillow or something like that. And then stay separate from it. And then move your attention to your back of your neck, into your heart or into your spine, any one of those, and see what happens. 
There's no right way to do this, okay? There's no wrong way. But what we're trying to do is how do we narrow the field to go from here, go from here, and then even go smaller again? How do we extrapolate that? I can't seem to untangle these papers. I'm, I'm having the same issue. And make it just one little thing. One little piece of information. And when we do, and we stay in our spine, in the back of our neck, at the top of the spine, we stay in our heart even, whichever orientation feels right to you, then stay with that and just see if you can let that information rise, crest, and fall. The more, if we're in this process here, and we get caught up in spinning off into here and all the dribs and drabs of this, and then get caught here, the more cluttered it's going to be. So it really takes training and practice, staying connected to the body, landing, that's why sometimes it's helpful to stay in the heart, the spine, the top of the neck, the bottom, I mean the bottom of the neck here, and just move through it. Just take one bit of information and see how much you can let it move through. The people who were able to do this really had some amazing results. And we see this all the time. Because literally, you're dropping the amount of information that your body is processing. And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to just make something small. If you're interested in this, we are going to be doing the Becoming Safely Body Skills course soon. So I'll, I'll put the, list, uh, the link below and you can be on the list. And um, this is one of the things we practice over and over, and it is proven, proven to make a difference. I just said, I saw somebody's feedback this morning about how helpful that is. I'm teaching the, uh, certifying a group of people, therapists, in the Becoming Safely and Body Skills, and they are finding over and over and again with themselves and with their clients what a difference it makes. So. Practice that. See what happens. Put your comments down below. Let's gather information together and see how we can really refine this. Thanks, everybody.